I have an interesting relationship with metrics because I was one of the first people to talk about and actively use metrics in design work. And talking about it at the time was, uh, you know, kind of ironically now, really controversial uh, because they, it was the devil. Um, and to some designers, it's still, metrics still are the devil. But what I've learned over time, I mean, at first, the, the awesome thing about metrics was it was a way for me to see what players were doing, right? In a retail game, you ship it and you look at reviews and maybe you see people play it at focus tests and maybe on the floor at E3 and you talk to your friends, kind of see some forums, but that's it, right? It's, it's all people's impressions. And I like to say that there's two ways to look at what players do. There's looking at how it feels and the impression they get, and then there's looking at how it, how it actually plays, their actual behavior, because what people say and what people do and what they say they do are three different things. You need all sources of input. So having that kind of direct line into behavior was really interesting to me. But I think then as an industry, we sort of took a hard right turn um, and went all in on metrics. And now I think to some extent we have the opposite problem in that we're looking at players as numbers now and not as people anymore, and we've lost the human side of the equation. And the thing that's been uh, striking me mostly lately is that in looking at players primarily as numbers, we lose sight of the fact that sometimes you do things you don't really like. Just because someone does it doesn't mean they like it. It's, it's a different thing. And the example that I use is we all stick with, we all can name a TV show that we stuck with after we kind of stopped liking it, right? We gave it three or four more episodes or sometimes even the rest of the season to figure out if we were gonna stick with it next season or not. And you can definitely point to those times when I'm doing something I don't enjoy for whatever reason, because I have investment, because my friends are doing it, because it's a habit, because it's what I always do at that time of day, right? There are all sorts of reasons we keep doing it um, beyond liking it. And so I think metrics loses that, because in metrics, the, the kind of the assumption is, as long as my play pattern is roughly the same, I'm happy. And that's not necessarily the case. That just means you've developed a habit, right? So I think a part of looking at it more um, on a human basis is starting to see if we can develop ways that we can separate retention from happiness. And, and I've been talking about that a lot lately because I think it's a really important, not, not just an important subject, but one that's really, really a hard problem that's really hard to solve.